When people struggle and suffer, the more fortunate come to the aid of those in need, helping others who share this planet. Caring organizations implement good deeds on a much larger scale. Today we'll look at five organizations that are doing their part, each contributing in their own unique way. You're watching Giving Back. When disasters strike, food, water, and shelter are immediate needs. In third world countries, though, relief isn't enough. You need to improve the present and also change the future. On January 12, 2010, a 7.0 magnitude earthquake devastated the country of Haiti, killing over 200,000 people, leaving them without water, medical care, and power. About 4,000 schools were destroyed, crippling an already inadequate education system. Oui, la vie changé pour petit mayo parce que côté au télé quoi la t'écrasé. Moi t'ai pensé pas t'as bien l'école encore. Après le tremblement de terre, la vie nous était tellement difficile. Nous pas bien côté pour nous vivre. Haiti was already in an incredibly difficult situation, and having lived here for most of the last 20 years, I've lived through difficult times, and the poverty is extreme. Then when the earthquake struck, it set the country back decades. The devastation was incredible. The buildings, the rubble, the lives that were lost. They estimate 4,000 schools were destroyed by the earthquake. Five of our partner schools were destroyed by the earthquake. So we see the mission of Haiti Partners as helping Haitians change Haiti through education. So we're not going to change the country. These kids are going to change the country. And so we get to be the small part of helping them get there and helping them have more tools to make that difference. <laughs> Riggs & Stratton, a global engines and power products company with corporate offices in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, responded. The first thing that went through the mind of our company is how can we help? Um, like many other disasters that have happened in the past, my phone immediately started ringing. Uh, phone calls were coming in from employees, from community members saying, what's Briggs & Stratton going to do to help? We didn't hesitate for a moment. We make power. Power is what we do. Power is what they needed. There was very little thought that went into it because it was our culture to do the right thing and to get power down to the folks in Haiti that needed it so desperately. 240 portable generators were loaded at the Briggs & Stratton manufacturing facility and shipped to Haiti. Laura Tim and her co-workers then teamed up with Haiti Partners to address the power needs of several Haitian schools that had been rebuilt. For Haiti Partners, partnership is everything. So in order for us to be able to help a school like this, we need people, we need individuals, we need companies like Briggs & Stratton who have resources, who have products that can help this school function better. If we don't have the partners, we don't have the school. Elle croit est vraiment utile nous parce que nous avons besoin ni pour nous monter de l'eau et de l'eau est vraiment utile. Et puis il utile nous tout pour nous te faire animation avec Timonio. The immediate impact was incredible. The power grid was so desperately challenged with the earthquake in Haiti and getting power down there so folks could have electricity, so they could power refrigerators that carry vaccines, medical equipment um, to get some schools that needed to get up and running so the kids could get back to some kind of normalcy. So the impact was immediate. Now, two years later, the recovery is slow, but very much underway. This rebirth is evident in not only the construction at hand, but also in the smiles of children as their parents prepare them in the morning to return to schools that are newly reopened and an education that is so crucial to their future. Bon, education is important because it's not education, it's not life. I'm blessed to work and to make a good job at school. Oui, éducation est importante dans la vie de chaque monde. Et oui, je pense que l'éducation, c'est le clé de la vie. Dans le monde, je me dis que je vais aider les parents. Pour moi, le plus excitant, c'est de voir les enfants plus vivants et de faire des changements, les enfants plus vivants et de faire des changements. Donc, les structures sont importantes, les infrastructures sont importantes, mais bien sûr, les gens sont ce qui est le plus important. Donc, de voir ça, c'est ce qui est vraiment encourageant. La volonté est forte. La cause est juste. La volonté est forte empower Haitians to create a better, brighter future. And it all starts with the education of its youth. 
kids' education is everything. Haiti Partners is helping Haitians change Haiti through education. The future of this country is in their hands. We've been partnering with uh, nonprofit organizations and helping folks for over 103 years, and our impact has been great, so one company can make a true difference. At Briggs & Stratton, we make products that make life easier and better for people. Whether it's mowing their lawns, grooming their yards, or removing snow, most of us take these things for granted. Sometimes the need is much bigger and unexpected, and we can help in those times. Everyone at Briggs & Stratton is humbled that we can play a role in providing power to help in their people in their struggle to recover. All around the world, people face adversity and challenge to keep their foothold. Yet the resolve to move forward and make things stronger is within us all. Briggs & Stratton, powering communities around the world. To learn more, visit BriggsAndStratton.com. To start partnering for change, visit HaitiPartners.org. When you look at children, what do you see? Bright, shining futures filled with unlimited possibilities. How about now? Why should it be any different? You can still enjoy a playground, even if you can't climb. You can still play, even if you can't run. You can still be an artist, even if you can't hold a crayon. Children with disabilities face a broad array of physical, mental, and societal challenges every day. CVS Caremark aims to change that by helping to build inclusive communities and making them accessible to all. Communities where respect is a given, where everyone feels valued and understood. Communities that emphasize cooperation and participation, that understand, celebrate, and support each other's differences. And finally, Communities that offer the same opportunities to people of all abilities to learn, play, and succeed in life. We believe that all children deserve the opportunity to learn in a school setting, participate in neighborhood activities, play with other children, and have the opportunity to succeed in whatever they set out to do. That's why CVS Caremark established the All Kids Can program with the support of its thousands of employees across the nation. All Kids Can is a commitment to make life easier for children with disabilities. Our mission of All Kids Can is to really help children and their families achieve the best that they can be in life. Our programs that we've designed really are around learn, play, and succeed. To achieve that, All Kids Can focuses on three key areas of support. Learn, play, succeed. Children with disabilities deserve the opportunity to participate in everyday activities. Their participation builds self-esteem and social skills and allows them to have fun. It encourages cooperation, friendship, and a sense of belonging. The benefits to others are just as important. Inclusion increases respect and sensitivity to the challenges others face. It fosters a sense of tolerance, compassion, and empathy, and helps everyone understand the importance of working together. Children with disabilities also need safe places to play and be physically active, so CVS Caremark provides grants to help build barrier-free playgrounds in communities nationwide and to expand existing recreation areas. Most of all, children need medical rehabilitation to help them overcome their disabilities. Our focus with All Kids Can is really helping kids reach their greatest potential. And that's helped us identify national partners like Easter Seals and St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital to partner with. Through their programs and their focus on children with disabilities, we've really found great synergy. Easter Seals provide services for individuals with autism, developmental, physical, and mental disabilities, and other special needs. When we chose Easter Sales as a national partner, our CVS Caremark colleagues really responded. Thousands of them participated in the Walk With Me events across the country, both this year and over the last five years. Together, and with funding from CVS Caremark All Kids Can program, we've raised over $4 million for Easter Sales and really helped them reach tens of thousands of kids every year. Grants from CVS Caremark support the delivery of life-changing therapies to children with autism, fund development centers where children of all abilities learn together and provide the technologies that enable them to fully participate in the classroom. St. Jude Children's Research Hospital is world-renowned for finding cures and saving the lives of children with cancer and other deadly diseases. 
Children with cancer may experience developmental, cognitive, or physical impairments as a result of their illnesses and the treatments used to save their lives. So, in 2004, CVS Caremark joined the inaugural St. Jude Thanks and Giving Campaign, an in-store fundraising program that takes place at CVS pharmacy locations nationwide every holiday season. The result, $25 million raised for the hospital and a new CVS Caremark Rehabilitation Services Center that enables St. Jude to better provide audiology and speech pathology as well as occupational and physical therapy to truly help children reach their greatest potential by eliminating barriers so they can lead healthy, happy lives during treatment. When we built All Kids Can, the focus was on these children and the supporting network around them. So it's the parents, the siblings, the grandparents, the aunts and uncles, really the extended caregiver. So we partner with these organizations to also find opportunities to give them a break as well. All Kids Can is an inclusive model and it thinks about the children and their families. And for the children, there are medical rehabilitation and recreation programs that allow kids with disabilities to experience the joy of just being kids. Children with disabilities is really at the center of our philanthropic focus at CVS Caremark, and the employees are very passionate about it. They spent a lot of time and energy really working with our organizations to make a difference in their local community. And when you see the looks and smiles on these kids' faces and that of their families and our own employees, I know we're really making a positive impact in our local communities, and I couldn't be more proud of that. Thanks to All Kids Can, that's a distinct possibility. To learn about All Kids Can, visit cvscaremarkallkidscan.com or Facebook at CVS Caremark All Kids Can. Health is not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. It also encompasses your well-being. And your well-being depends on the health of others, your friends, your family, your community. You probably have a good idea how to improve the health of your friends and family, but what about your community? Believe it or not, Social connections are an important part of your health. Humans are social beings. In fact, we're defined by our contacts and involvement in everyday life. Healthy people have healthy relationships. They're active in the community, lead healthy social lives, and bond with their neighbors, coworkers, and friends. The strength of these social bonds is a reflection of the health of the community. That's because a community is a collection of social bonds. Those are the ties that bind a community together. The stronger the community, the more problems get solved, and the better the overall health of everyone involved. That's why WellPoint and its associates are dedicated to improving the health of communities. That dedication is backed by the WellPoint Foundation, a private, nonprofit organization funded by WellPoint. The foundation believes the physical health of people in our communities improves their lives. That's why we support community programs that improve fitness and nutrition, like the Oasis Institute's Catch Healthy Habits program. By instilling healthy eating and exercise in our youngest generations, Oasis is working to reduce obesity and lessen the risk of chronic diseases like diabetes. These kids will grow up with healthier habits that should reduce their risks for preventable diseases and related excessive medical treatment. The program benefits kids and adults over 50. It combats obesity by engaging adults as mentors to teach healthy, lifelong habits to kids in grades K through five. Together, they participate in fun, active games, share healthy snacks, and learn about good food choices. Childhood obesity rates for children have tripled in 30 years and doubled for adults 50 and older. By bringing together kids and adults who teach them good eating and physical activity habits to last a lifetime, kids are learning to eat right. The adult mentors are leading active, healthy lives, and we are making our community healthier through Catch Healthy Habits, and the WellPoint Foundation is a great partner. The WellPoint Foundation also supports organizations that share its goals of addressing preventable health concerns each year, WellPoint Associates give generously to health-related nonprofit organizations through an associate giving campaign. 
In 2011, the campaign raised more than $6.8 million in associate pledges and WellPoint Foundation matching gifts to support these charities. WellPoint has more than 37,000 associates who take our mission to heart to improve the lives of the people we serve and the health of our communities. We give our time and resources to address the needs of the community. The contributions of WellPoint Associates go far beyond donating money. We help make the holidays brighter for those in need, help moms get their babies off to a strong, nutritious start, collect food to feed the hungry in our communities, participate in blood drives, support community health fairs and immunization clinics, and when natural disasters strike, we're there too. WellPoint Associates across the country have formalized the commitment to their communities with a Community Service Day. Community Service Day is one of our signature programs. Thousands of WellPoint Associates span out across the country to assist our community partners in service of others. It's an incredibly meaningful day for us and those we help. We aim to show the residents of our communities that you are not alone. There's a wider group of people who care. And when groups like WellPoint and their employees come in, our clients and our families see that there's a broader level of support. This year, more than 3,800 associates participated in 169 projects across 28 states. WellPoint Associates beautified green spaces, created community gardens, painted murals, served at food banks, and improved the facilities of community organizations. This is the one event that brings us all together. It's heartwarming, you know that you're doing it to benefit others, but more than anything, I think you walk away with more than what you give. It's really quite simple. We're a company of caring people who are committed to improving the health of communities in this country. It's great to see what we can accomplish together. Through grant making and corporate giving, the WellPoint Foundation gives approximately $25 million a year to initiatives that improve the health and vitality of the communities in which WellPoint does business. The WellPoint Foundation is focused on healthy generations. WellPoint's signature program to improve public health outcomes in communities across the nation. To learn more, go to wellpointfoundation.org. We train ourselves not to see, to ignore the uncomfortable. But the problems lie hidden until our eyes are opened and reality hits home. This sudden awareness can be a shock, but it can also be a force of good. Things don't change without it. There's a war raging. This is the battleground. And these are the victims. Boys and girls as young as 12 years old. Children society has forgotten. One of the hardest things to understand about the world is how it is that kids who are alone, on their own, struggling for survival on the streets, end up becoming prey for some of the worst characters in society, pornographers, pedophiles, predators, people who traffic them, kids who end up um, struggling for survival. We see kids who, but for Covenant House, are absolutely lost to the streets. Most people think trafficking happens somewhere else. The reality is, American children are being trafficked every day. In one Department of Justice report, 85% of the confirmed U.S. sex trafficking cases involved American citizen victims. The exact numbers are unknown. Justice Department estimates from 1999 put the number of runaway or throwaway kids at 1.6 million. According to a University of Pennsylvania study, the numbers are even higher. You know, trafficking is one of the most sinister conspiracies of the 21st century. It's a modern form of slavery. Young people from across the Americas, Managua to Anchorage, are drawn into this work by the gangs and the cartels or individuals who seek to commodify young people. I started doing things I shouldn't have done. I started making poor choices because I felt like, you know, my family's not supporting me, so who is? The traffickers have global, organized networks to transport children from city to city, nation to nation, all around the world. Kids can be here today and gone tomorrow. If no one saves them, they disappear, and it's getting worse. The internet has made it easier for predators to profit by selling kids online. As a result, Human trafficking is now the second largest criminal industry in the world, 
and it's the fastest growing. You know, Covenant House is 40 years old, and in all that time, we've every single day at a Covenant House somewhere across the United States welcomed in for the first time a kid who's been prostituted by an adult who made money off of them. Every day in 21 cities, Covenant House outreach specialists canvass the most dangerous neighborhoods in search of homeless kids. You don't have a, uh, a shelter to go to tonight? Oh uh, yeah, I have some place to go. You have a place to go? Why are you, why are you out here? We have teams of trained outreach workers who go out at all times of the day and night into some of the toughest neighborhoods in the world and connect with kids who are struggling on the streets. Armed with Covenant House cards, plenty of sandwiches, blankets, and the offer of on-the-spot assistance, the outreach program specialists constant and reassuring presence earn them trust among the kids on the streets. Covenant House does more than offer a safe place to sleep. They offer crisis care, as well as long-term programs in which the kids stay at a Covenant House facility and rebuild their lives to become independent, productive adults, free from the risk of future homelessness. It requires that we have enough beds to welcome kids off the streets when they're homeless and cold and tired and need a safe place to be. It requires that we serve thousands of meals to kids across the United States. It requires that we clothe them, that we shelter them, that we keep them safe. And all that means that we have to be more. Every day, Covenant House is struggling to be more, but we need help to get that done. We need others to join with us and help us make sure that we have the beds and the medical supplies and the clothes and the food to keep kids well. Covenant House is often the last chance and last hope for homeless kids. Last year, they helped over 51,000 kids at 21 shelters throughout the U.S., Canada, and Latin America. And for kids in trouble who aren't near a shelter, Covenant House operates two toll-free hotlines that promptly respond to frightened or threatened children and concerned family members. We can do a part by, you know, changing people's lives by doing one thing, and that's caring. Caring for each other. To help or learn more, visit CovenantHouse.org, the largest privately funded agency in the Americas, providing essential services to homeless, throwaway, and runaway kids. Giving children attention pays off in a variety of ways. You validate their importance. You open them to new experiences. And most importantly, you can lay the groundwork for gifts that pay dividends throughout the child's life, like finding pleasure in reading. Learning to read is critical to a child's development, both in school and in life. When adults read to children, explain the meaning of words, discuss the story, and ask questions, they promote comprehension, language development, and knowledge of story structure, all of which enhance literacy. The biggest problem for children who want to learn to read and want to get ahead is access to books. KPMG has brought in this first book program, which for most of our population is helping to build their home libraries. Our kids do not have books at home. They're a basic fact. By starting to build these libraries, as first book does, we've created a new opportunity for the children to bring literacy into their lives. For lower income children, books are scarce. In some schools, there is only one book available for every 300 children. 80% of the preschools and after school programs don't have a single book to offer. We're dealing with poverty, we're dealing with ethnicity, we're dealing with English as a second language. Since its inception, the KPMG's Family for Literacy program has distributed two million new books to low-income children in 90 communities across the United States. What distinguishes it from most other corporate philanthropic efforts is that it was developed by the wives of the KPMG's chairman and deputy chairman for partners, employees, retirees, and their families. My wife, Beth, had been uh, talking a lot about the need for an engagement of our families and spouses and that there was a vast untapped resource out there in the KPMG family. We found the perfect organization to team with, an organization called First Book. The KPMG Family for Literacy program has been an extraordinary partner for First Bug. They came to us with their heads and their hands and their hearts. They brought their friends, they brought their partners, they brought their staff and families, 
and they came to us with a real heart and soul effort to change the lives of kids in their hometowns all over the country. The books are shipped to a KPMG office and they are organized into numbers by the classrooms and a KPMG volunteer effort is organized where KPMG partners and employees and family members will take those books and go out into the school on a particular day and engage in a reading event where they'll sit with the students and then at the end they give them the book that they get to take home with them. Your own special book. So we take them home? Oh. Best wishes from KPMG. They said, read more, read more, please. Like, So we read please. two chapters yeah. instead of one. So one of the little girls in the room asked us, you know, when she had to bring the book back. And we opened the page to her and showed her the little page up front where she got to write her name in it. And um, the fact that she got to keep that book and take it home was so exciting to her. What we really like about it is it's contagious among our people. I fell in love right, right away. So when they asked me to co-lead, I jumped at the chance. You think you're doing something great for these kids, and the reality is they're doing something great, giving you the experience. It just feels so good to know that for that moment in time, you made an opportunity available to a child to uh, travel to another city, to meet a new character, to understand about the life of someone else, and it's all because they just opened the cover of a book. APMG has even created a way for the public to contribute. Hi, I'm Phil Mickelson. Do something nice for someone else. The key, it's this new blue hat you may see me wearing on tour this year. For every blue hat that you buy, KPMG will make a donation to help put more books in the hands of kids. So if you want to give a child a better shot at learning to read, visit philsbluehat.com to get a hat and make a difference. It's that simple. We can have that impact very early in someone's life. The likelihood of them being successful in the future is, is just escalated. You're really creating strong citizens who have an appreciation for reading and potentially could break the cycles of poverty. In fact, literacy is the key to the fulfillment of our country's highest ideal, that every individual has the right and the opportunity to succeed. What I do think is special is our willingness to not claim victory just when we have something up and running. We want to continue as, as uh, we can to push the boundaries to see what can be done next. We have a chance, because we are part of the KPMG family, to do something that we wouldn't otherwise have a chance to do to make this community a better place. The future is the most exciting part of this program. To learn more, visit kpmgcampus.com slash FFL. Join us next time for more inspiring stories on giving back. To view this show and to learn more about how you can help, visit us at profilesingivingback.com.